Hey, Floss Tube, Sean here. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> it's been about three months since I recorded a Floss Tube video, which was, I think, Floss Tube number five, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, but, yeah, um, if you've been watching uh, my last couple of videos, my Vlogmas intro and channel update, you'll know that I just... Uh, just got busy um, and uh, and this year's been kicking my ass so um, but I'm back uh, getting back into the groove of it of filming this will uh, be my fourth or fifth uh, day in a row of videos depending on when this one goes up um, and I just want to do uh, another whip parade I, just, I know that's what my last uh, video was but I've worked on a lot of stuff I mean, I, I, I wasn't reading a ton, but I was stitching a ton. So I want to uh, show you where I'm at with everything as we're getting close to the end of the year. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to do one or two more videos for Floss Tube this month. Um, I'm going to try and figure out uh, showing you the charts I've picked up since my floss tube number two I, in my floss tube number two I went through all of my uh, all of my full coverage charts that I own and I've picked up quind a few since then so I kind of want to show you the ones I've picked up since kind of since then and what's what's new in my stash of charts since then and um, then I'll probably do either another maybe another update of where I'm at with what you know what I've stitched on this month and uh, and some uh, 2020 plans maybe um, so yeah it's gonna be hopefully a video a day either booktube or floss tube um, through the 24th um, for vlogmas so there'll be more floss tube content coming um, at least I'm gonna try to do at least once a week um, while Vlogmas is going on of the floss tube content. <clears throat> I got a lot of book content, uh, coming. Um, cause you know, my, you guys know my channel, uh, primarily and, you know, started as a, as a, as a book channel. Um, so let's get into it. Um, first thing, I don't think, I don't even think I showed this in the last one. And I haven't worked on it since the last one. Um, this is a Super Mario chart. Um, I don't have a picture of it to, to pop up, but it's just I just some blue sky right here. What it is is the shape of Mario jumping up. Um, that'll be the outline shape, and then um, it's just a graphic out of the Super Mario Brothers video game. So you can see here where it's the sky is going around the series of boxes um, and I think right here is gonna be one of the uh, mushroom guys and then Mario will be down here about to jump up and hit a uh, question mark there and then the ground and the sky all in the shape of, uh, of Mario I got this uh, off of Etsy I don't even remember what uh, Etsy store I got it off of but uh, I don't work on it much because it's on Ada and I don't really like working on Ada. Um, it's on 16 count Ada. And I hadn't ventured into like doing 32 count 2 over 2 uh, yet to get a softer, you know, fabric or a fabric I like working with more. Um, but that's that. I will get some more work into that soon I do I do want to get back to it and get it finished because I do so many full coverage charts I need I need a small here and there so that I actually I actually get a finish occasionally um this one I actually just posted a picture of in for the love of diagonal stitching yesterday this is a uh, humble heart um, and again I will try to put a picture up here or here of the of the chart so you see what the full thing is supposed to look like um, so I don't, this might be a start since my last video. I'm not sure. No, I didn't start this in the past three months, but I would have only had like 
little corner here done. And I just finished the third diagonal uh, yesterday. This is uh, over one on one over one on 28 even weave. Most of my stuff is one over one on 28 or even weave. Only got a couple things on 25 count and then one that's 32 count two over two, but I'll get to that. Um, and I guess getting into the fourth diagonal on that there, I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. Got to block my face, which is probably a good thing anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm getting into the fourth diagonal of that, getting into, uh, what I like about this one is I start to see st stuff uh, forming right away. Um, There's going to be a lot of me digging into bags. <laughs> This is my Enchanted Glimpse um, from Hade. Oh, most of my stuff's from Hade. You guys know that. Um, I've got a full page finished. I'm about to finish a second page here soon. And I've got some work. I, I, ever since Pattern Keeper, like I, I, I just kind of go into, uh, into the next page. So I've got some work down on the page down here and the page that's under page two here. Um, I've got some work into that and then a little bit into the next page page three over there but uh, that this one's coming along nicely I, I really actually really enjoy working on this one um, I don't know if this will end up being a finish uh, next year but I do I do enjoy working on it so I'm, I'll, I'll put a lot of I'll put a lot of work on into that um, This I really want to get a lot of work put into next year. This is uh, my second full coverage that I started, my first Hade. And I'm not as far as I would like to be on it. I gotta like tape my edges or something or whip stitch my edges and stop this fraying. Um, this is the Outer Frontier. And I got uh, a page finish over here uh, a couple weeks ago so that's uh, I've got three pages finished on it I've got another page down here that's getting close to being finished and I've gone into this other page here so I try to so you can see the the moon coming together there and then the uh, the spires of uh, of the building down there pretty soon I get into this way I'm gonna get into into the woman over here but uh, yeah I really want to get a lot of work put into this I would like I would like to be between a quarter and half finished with this by this time next year if not more um, just because it's my first hate that I've, I've I've done, and I really want to um, I really want to get um, that closer to to being able to be finished in my lifetime. Is that the right bag? Yeah, that's the right bag. A lot of these I may not see finished in my lifetime, you know, because I I have like 16 or 18 full coverage charts going, and I'm probably going to do at least one New Year new start. Uh, I already have something I'm looking at for that. I have another full coverage that I was going to start around my birthday. And I bought all the floss and got everything set for it and never got around to starting it. Um, this is my Universal Monsters cell. Uh, again, I don't, none of these I do. I remember where I was at when uh, you last saw them. And I did not go back and watch my video because it is 45 minutes long or something. And I just didn't have the time. Um... So, um, I have finished the Phantom of the Opera's room. The, the sow is, is, is complete. I, a lot of people have finished work and they, you know, they got the whole house, uh, witchy stitchers group on Facebook. You can see a lot of it. Um, uh, but I also got into the mummy's room. So I've got the sarcophagus and just the other night, uh, last week, uh, I got, the mummy mostly d done a couple in, in two of the colors of him and then the chandelier um this will be a spider right here it's just two cross stitches right here the rest is all back stitched to make the spider um i gotta learn how to do french knots for the mummy's eyes 
Um, but yeah, I put a little bit of work into that. Uh, again, I, I tend not to pick this one up because I always have to readjust to trying to do two over two on the 32 count. And it takes me, it, it's slower because I'm not doing one over one. I have to really keep my mind on it and think about it. But I didn't want to do one over one on, on a higher count fabric on it because I, I wanted it to have some size to it. I mean, I didn't want those, I didn't want those rooms to be too small. I'm working on trying to get Q-snaps for everything I have in progress so that I don't have to switch out Q-snaps. Um, I can just switch out grind guards. Um, this is Sunset in Venice. And I put a lot of work into this this weekend, actually. Uh, top of this weekend, I only had basically that top row done except for these couple of stitches here and a little bit right here and I took and finished one color down this way and this way There's still a little bit of that color more to go here and in here and then started started in right here so I put a lot of work into that this weekend um because I really would like to see some progress on this I don't really want to I have a couple other this is this is the max color and which is in max color world is still low it's 150 it's not like the 200 and some that a lot of max colors get up to but I also I have a couple of color expansion or max color other things too that I don't want to start too many max color or color expansions until I get a good deal out of this and this one it's a lot of pages but it's not a huge Thing. So once I get really going on that, I should be able to uh, to put some really good work into that. Um, this is my simply meant to be. I put a decent amount of work into this in October. Um, so I didn't have I since you saw it last. I filled in all this dark here. And uh, I'm getting going on the curve of the moon that Oogie Boogie is, is in. So I'm actually really close to, I'm not too far away from a page finish on this one. Um, I know my last video I talked a lot about, I was switching a lot of stuff over to the diagonal. And um, that lasted month or month or so and then once pattern keeper came out it was one it's it is easy to easier to see the diagonal because you can mark them but then it's also easy really easy to just go on into the next page and really select a symbol and so a lot of my diagonal stitching kind of got abandoned um once i started using pattern keeper but uh, there, the, and I also have I, I have a one or two things I'm looking at possibly switching the color completion on at least at least for a while for a couple of other colors that are like huge and make a good outline of the chart. That's right, this zipper's broken, and I'll talk about those when I, when I get to them. In fact, here's one of them. This is a new start since. I last filmed the video. 100% I know this is a new start since I last filmed. This is Inner Depths. This is another uh, Chris Ortega hate chart. I love Chris Ortega's artwork. Um, and once, you know, once you'll see the picture um, so you'll know what I'm talking about. But... I started this on the diagonal and I was going good on the diagonal and then it just seemed really easy because the colors kind of went around this um this circle thing that's in the that's in the like sewer wall or wherever she's sitting um so it was really easy to just kind of follow that around and now I'm thinking about doing color completion on it and color completing the black and then color completing uh one of the other colors because you get to see like you really start to see the outline of just about everything in color completing one or two colors and then uh so i'm really thinking about that so i did start doing that a little bit i got all the black 
done mostly around here. I uh, started down here a little bit. And then there's a big chunk of black that's going to go like down here. And out of the two colors I was looking at doing with black looks like the easiest to be able to go all the way around the chart and not have to not risk uh, too much miscounting and needing to frog a bunch because I don't grid my charts. Uh, where'd that bag go? There it is. I just don't like to do things that take time away from the, from the stitching portion of it. You're going to hear pounding because the cat and my kittens really want to get into this room. But if I let them into this room, down goes the camera. They'll, you'll see them climbing up all over here and they'll be driving me crazy while I'm trying to film this video. So, um, I didn't realize I still had this one on a Q-snap. Um, so, this is Dark Moonlight Angel. And the last... I think you can see the last time you saw it is got this done and I was starting to switch over to going on the diagonal and this is another one that I'm thinking about doing color completion on um, I started going down with the five with the 550 here and color completing the 550 you get just a great outline of her and the moon and you really see the what the picture is going to be come together i think you know because on the pattern keeper you can select a symbol and you you zoom out and you see how where all that symbol is on the chart and it looks really really cool showing just the 550 and it kind of made me want to start maybe just doing color completion on that I think I am out of stuff on a few snaps. This is, I haven't put much work into this. Um, I'm going too soon, I think, because this is, uh, this is a uh, fan favorite, we'll say. Um, every time I show this, the, it gets the most comments of anything. Um, this is my Audrey piece. And I don't know if I had done started in on this the last time you saw it. I, I, I haven't put a ton of work into it. I really should. I've got all these park threads here. Um, again, Pattern Keeper came out. And I can't put this one into Pattern Keeper because it's, it's an Etsy PDF chart. Um, so I just haven't done anything on my paper charts except for Big Red Ship of Life. I've, done, I've, I've worked on that some. But, um, yeah, I still need to fill in all the white in the curtains here. But, again, white on white gets to be tough. Um, so, but that's, that's a fairly decent. This one I really should put up, like, like the Outer Frontier. This was the first full coverage chart I started before I started my first hate. So I really should put some heavy work into this. Next. Yeah, speaking of Big Red Ship of Life, that happens to be the next one I grab. Um, I actually just watched uh, Kim Hollenbeck, Spartan Stitchers video, and she's making some great progress on this. Um, she's almost done with the whole top row of pages. But um, this is where I'm at with it, just uh, page one. And I only got this much to go on page one, then I'll, I'll have a page finish on it. So... Uh, yeah, I'm hoping by the end of the year to be into another page on this. Again, this is one I have to do on um, paper chart because that's how I own it. I don't even own a PDF of this. I, I bought I bought the ink circles chart off of uh, one two three stitch. Um, so, what's next? 
Lost. This is another one I'm thinking about color completion on. Um, this is one of the seven deadly sins uh, charts. I really don't have a lot of work into this. Just, um, I only had like a little corner if I even had that. When you saw it, I, don't even, I might not have even showed it last time because um, I had so little work into it. But again, I think it's it's either 550 or 37 I forget. But um, there's one color that you do the completion on and it really forms a nice outline of the picture. And uh, so I kind of started playing with just that one color a little bit. Um, the fabric for some reason is not one of my favorites to work on. It's a it's a 28 count um, Lugana, I think. I think it's a Lugana. Um, but I don't know, for some reason it's not one of my favorites to work on. I, I, you, I put Lust on it because I had bought it for something. I had actually bought it for Simply Meant to Be. And then I got, it took so long to get, I just wanted to get Simply Meant to Be started because I was starting it with uh, Mama Metzger. And I finally just bought a piece of white 28 count even with from uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, and started that. So then I was going to put writing my memoirs on this. And uh, the first stitch I put in was the exact same color as the fabric. And I couldn't see where I put the stitch. So then the uh, uh, reason I started Lust on it was because it was exact right size. All right. We have Stolen Harvest. This is just, I can not even have to unfold this. This is just all black. All black. Um, I'm still on the diagonal on this, but I'm not going diagonal full chart. I think I think I decided I wanted to go diagonal by page on this one, but the first page is all black. I don't know if I put any work. I might have put a little work into this. I might not have, but this is Labyrinthine Spring. This is Story Keep. Um, I should do some work on this because this could definitely be a finish by mid next year if uh, if I uh, if I really put my efforts into it. Because I have Labyrinthine Summer ready, the 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 chart. Um, so I thought I might try and do the series. That is, this is my Spirited Away stained glass that uh, was going to be my birthday start. And there's the fabric sitting there in the bag. And I have all the floss in a, in a, in a container. And I uh, haven't gotten around to starting it yet. This is Spread Your Wings. And again, I don't need to unfold this. I don't think I've put any work into this since you last, since my last video. I'm still on the diagonal on it, and I haven't finished that last diagonal that uh, that I was doing. Um, this is one I don't, I don't even have all the floss for. I only have the floss for the first like page and a half. Um, again, one I don't think I've put any work into since uh, since I last showed it. This is Fly Away. Yeah, I guarantee I haven't put any work into that since I last showed it. Um, this is one I'm considering starting over I don't know I started this one down in the bottom left corner just to try and start something in a new spot and I was um, I um, partially 
One, because I uh, I was starting it on something that I, I needed to frog up here. And partially because uh, I had a lot of stuff that was a lot of black and this whole up here is black. So I started it down here. And I'm not very far. And I just, I need to try and work on it some more because I just, I think I just need to get used to doing it that way. Maybe with Pattern Keeper now it'll help, but it's just weird to me to be going the opposite way of what I'm used to. So I've considered frogging what's there out and restarting up in the upper co the corner that uh, I'm used to starting in because I don't got a ton done. Just uh, one small little page and a couple sections on on the surrounding pages for it. Rainy Waterloo Place, I don't think I've put much work into. I started getting it on the diagonal a little bit. And again, I haven't picked it up since. I should, because it's, I mean, it's a lot of pages, but it's not very big in the grand scheme of stuff I'm working on. So, and it stitches pretty quick too. I was surprised how stitch it quicks. How stitch it quicks? How quick it stitches. It's about time. This one actually might go on the Q snap very soon. Um, there it is. Not much more progress on that. I might have gotten a little bit more into the diagonal on it. I'm not sure. This one, though, I really should put some work into because it's another one of those where I can see stuff coming together right away. And I need some of those because a lot of mine, I've got like background or just stuff that doesn't really form shapes. So you don't really see it coming together. This is another one I really want to put some work into because I, I love the chart. I love the the um the artwork, and I just don't ever put it on the Q snap. This is Big Cats, and I think this is still in the same spot that you last saw it. This one's from Tilton Crafts. Everything else has been made. <laughs> um, I just bought some Argosy charts too, which you'll see in my video where I show what I've what I've purchased. Um, so I think I, I think I want to do two new starts coming into the new year. I think I want to get an Argosy started because everything else I'm doing is hate, and there's a hate I really want to start. Um, possibly two. That once a upon a fairy tale or whatever it is that, uh, that came out, the new Amy Stewart that came out. I bought it in the sale, in the in the Black Friday sale. But, uh, or the Thanksgiving sale, whatever it was, uh, the day everything was 50%, all the charts were 50% off. Delane I have worked on a little bit. This is my Delane Moonbathers album cover that I charted myself on, uh, I think, a Pixel Stitch, something like that. Um, I started filling in some color in the D. Looks like maybe, yeah, two more charts. Two more. I'm not sure at what point my phone switches to a new file, so we'll see what happens. Okay. This is Quick Stitch Arthur, and um, I was moving away from the diagonal on. You see, I started to um, fill in some here, but then I think I might have decided to go back to the diagonal. And I got, but I'm getting into the cat. I really, again, this is a quick stitch. It's not many pages. I really need to spend some time with this one. And this could definitely be a finish next year if if I put the time into it. I mean, there's no reason that could not be a finish next year. And, yeah. Writing my memoirs. Um, I don't know if I'd start... I might have only had a couple of stitches into it. 
Um, I remember talking to you guys about wondering if I should go ahead and do, even though it wasn't charted, stitch in the black that surrounds it. And I decided to do that. So that's what I've done on it, is I started putting in the black around and I'm working towards the diagonal on it. Um, again, this is another one that you, once I get into it, I'll start seeing stuff come together right away. So I should pop it onto a Q-snap and put, put some work into it. But that is, yeah, that's everything. That is the whip parade. Um, I'm definitely putting some more work into Humble Heart tonight. Um, I might throw one of these back on the queue now. I might, I might put some work into it's, it's About Time over the next week. Um, definitely want to put some more work into Outer Frontier. Now, you know, and once you pull everything out, he's like, oh, I want to work on this right now. And it's, I don't want to work on everything right now, and I can't. So um, I got some decisions to make on what to work on. But I definitely, I know I want to put some more work into Humble Hearts. And I should get my Spirited Away stained glass started, too, because that was supposed to be my birthday start uh, at the end of September. And I never started it. So, but yeah, um, it's good to be back filming again, both on the BookTube and the FlossTube side. Um, let me know uh, in the comments, um, you know. How you're doing? What you're stitching on? Uh, and if you're working on any of these too, I'd love to. I'd love to know and you know maybe see your progress. Um, I'll talk about more stitchy plans um, in another video because I'm going to participate in a couple of full coverage fanatics things next year um, to really try and put some work in. And uh, I'm still working out, you know, stitchy plans and stitchy goals for for next year. But um, yeah, so. That I think that does it for for this floss tube video. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, if, if you came for the book tube, if you came for a book video and you ended up sticking around for the for the stitching, thank you. Um, and uh, floss tubers as well. If you've been around, if you've been watching the the book content, I thank you for that as well. Um, and uh yeah if this if you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button so you know when i post new videos and i'll see you all in the next one